When you know the basic interior design principles you can transform any space to look fabulous. You know what it feels like when you walk into a well-designed room. You can sense how everything feels cohesive and put together. It feels just right. You can achieve the defect in your own home with a little knowledge of basic design principles. Pair that knowledge with practice and experimentation and you're on your way to creating a beautiful home. Balance in design, balance creates a feeling of equilibrium. It is all about equalizing or approximating the visual weight of objects. Balance is created not just through shape, but through color, pattern, and texture as well. There are three different kinds of balance. Number 1, Symmetrical or Formal. Traditional or formal spaces call for symmetrical balance where the space is evenly split into two sides that mirror each other. For example, two chairs on either side of a coffee table can be said to be symmetrically balanced. This kind of balance is easy to achieve as design elements are repeated on each side. Number 2, Asymmetrical or Informal. The visual weights of lines, colors, forms, and textures are balanced without exact duplication. It is not as ordered as symmetrical balance and can be more complex and interesting. For instance, a sofa can be balanced by placing two chairs on the other side. Number 3, Radial Balance. Radial balance is achieved when there is a central focal point with other elements radiating from it or around it. An example would be a round dining table, with chairs arranged around it. There is a lot of repetition of form, texture, and color. The second principle is rhythm. As in music, rhythm in design is all about creating patterns of repetition and contrast to create visual interest. You can achieve this by using the same color or shape at different intervals. Its purpose is to move your eye around the room. For instance, you can establish a rhythm by using a color in the pillows, picking it up in a painting, and echoing it again in a rug. These repetitions will help carry your eye around the room. The third principle is harmony. Harmony is created when all the elements act together to create a unified message. Just as rhythm can create excitement, harmony creates a sense of restfulness. For instance, you can create harmony by using just one color, even though your forms vary greatly in shape, size, and texture. The fourth principle is emphasis. Emphasis on architectural spaces often have points of interest such as a fireplace or a window with a beautiful view. For interiors, you can choose to enhance the built-in focal point by arranging furniture around it to emphasize it. In a room that lacks such a built-in point of interest, you can create one through groupings of furniture or using an unusual or large piece. The fifth principle is proportion and scale. Proportion is the ratio between the size of one part to another, and scale is how the size of one object relates to another or to the space in which it is placed. For instance, a large overstuffed sectional in a small room will be out of scale. These five principles of interior design are keys in creating inviting spaces that family and friends will love spending time in. 